Greetings, all you phenomenal human beings who are worthy of love. Welcome to week five of Intro to Native Peoples AIS 101, our six week course. Doing phenomenal people. Looking forward to this week to seeing your infographic or social media post. It can be one page or up to 10 pages, and it can be a one minute video if you're using TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever social media site you want to use. It can be a real one, a fake one, or you can just use canva.com or some other way you could use Word or an Instagram story, however you want to try to create this infographic. You're also supposed to read myths 12, 13, and 14 from our class text, all the real Indians. And 20 other, 20 other myths about native peoples, learning about musicians and infographic, uh, musicians, I should say. So you're watching the Rumble Indians who rock the world. You're going to watch this Marlon Brando's Oscar for the Godfather, Northern Cree singers, You Drive Me Crazy, Redbone saying, Come and Get Your Love on the, live on the Midnight Special. A Trap Called Red Live uh, at Evolve Music Festival. DJ Shubb's song Ind Indomitable by Northern Cree singers as well, too, featuring Northern Cree singers. BIA, a, a protest song about the Bureau of Indian Affairs by Floyd Red Crow Westerman. And How Hollywood Stereotype Native Americans, What Hollywood Still Gets Wrong About Native Americans, Actors on Native American Roles, Adam B. talking about their like us in the 1800s. Adam Beach on Tonto, Twilight, and typecasting. Because what does it say about Native peoples when we don't even have Native people who are supposed to be Native peoples when they're not actually portrayed by actual Native peoples? What are you saying to Native youth and Native communities about themselves? They're, they're not even good enough to portray themselves in film. This is an important message about representation as well, too, and having Native peoples in these roles. West Duty winning an Oscar, Northern Cree with Pharrell Williams. And you can always look at the playlist for more as well, too. Get your weekly discussions. Get your weekly group me in our community peacemaking circle. Make sure to turn in your infographic or social media post for 20% of your grade. It's week six, people. You're doing a phenomenal job. Invitation, not an obligation. Sit up nice and tall. Deepest breath you've had all day as you breathe in some love, breathing like you love yourself. Exhale some love. Grateful for you. Yes, you, that person on the other side of the screen. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Influential native peoples. Let's go through sports, people. Lewis. Tewanima, uh, Te Hopi, silver medal for U.S. in 10,000 meter. Jim Thorpe, he was stack and fox and also citizen, citizen Potawatomi Nation. Gold medal for U.S. in the pentathlon and decathlon in 1912. He did this before he was a U.S. citizen. You see his two different mismatched shoes here as one of his shoes were stolen, and yet he competed anyways, went in the, tr went in the trash and found some mismatched shoes and won gold medal anyways. Billy Mills won the gold medal for the U.S. in the 10,000 meter in Tokyo. From the Ogala Sioux tribe, still with us today. Maria Tall, chief of the Osage tribe, America's first prima ballerina. Ricky Fowler, who is Navajo, also known as the Dene Nation, which means the people. A golfer, Kyrie Irving, he's also of the Standing Rock Sioux tribe. His, his name is Gila, or Little Mountain. Ashton Locklear of the Lumbee Nation, she was a part of the 2014 gold medal team. Noted BGA third, he's a golfer as well too, Dene golfer. Tiger Woods also has some Cherokee descent as well. Some famous Haudenosaunee lacrosse players, or also known as the Six Nations. This would be Hina Thompson, also Jerome Thompson of the Onondaga Nation, Lyle Thompson, Miles Thompson, and Jeremy Thompson, all brothers here. And also their cousin Ty Thompson as well, too. Phenomenal lacrosse players who play the, uh, the Creators game, the Medicine game, the Spirit game. Important as well, too, is you can compete on a world stage, be one of the best in the world and doing it to please the creator. It's good medicine for the community and for the creator. Let's talk about entertainment, people. You like entertainment? Let's talk about it. Graham Greene, an Oneida actor, still with us to this day. Wes Studi, Cherokee actor. Gary Farmer, Cayuga, one of the Haudenosaunee nations. Adam Beach is Saul II. And Zan McLarnon of the Papa Lakota. Amber Midthunder, if you got a chance to see Prey, which is on Hulu, got really positive reviews from a lot of different native uh, critics and just from human beings saying, wow, it's actually a really in-depth humanistic portrayal of native human beings, of looking uh, at the story there using the predator story, and uh, having a native Im native influence storytelling on it. So Amber Mid Thunder, she was in that, the Fort Peck Sioux tribes. Aliko Cox, the Benominee and Mohican tribes coming out in the series Echo. She was also featured in Hawkeye. Kay Debrie Jacobs of the Mohawk Nation. In the show Reservation Dogs, as is Paulina Alexis of the Alexis Nakota Sioux tribe. DJ Farah Wunatai, 
of the Ojai Cree Anishinaabe on uh, these characters are all on the show called Reservation Dogs. Lane Factor, Creek, Seminole, and Caddo. And you have Little Mike and Funny Bone, these two native raptors, uh, two native rappers. And they also happen to have dwarfism. They have this idea of dream big. If people don't laugh at your dreams, they're not big enough. They're both of the Pawnee Nation. Heiko Waititi, an indigenous person of Maori uh, of, in New Zealand. Well, we know today New Zealand, but indigenous peoples who were there before. Jason Momoa, no, maybe you know who Aquaman is. Native Hawaiian, this is Samoan descent, and Pawnee. Sierra Teller, she's the screenwriter for the TV show Ruth Rupert Falls, uh, Dene, or Navajo person. A couple of artists here, they're forming this band called The Hallucination. They used to be called a tribe called Red. On the left, our left here is Tim the Toolman Hill, the Mohawk Nation. On the right, Aaron Bear Witness Thomas of the Cayuga Nation, both from the Six Nations, the Haudenosaunee. This is me when I had a chance to meet Tim Hill of the Mohawk Nation. Uh, we're, we are together here, pretty, pretty stoked to have a chance to meet him. Redbone from that song, Come and Get Your Love. Uh, one of the first native bands to break the Billboard 100. Also a native band. You can see there, Tony Bellamy of the Yaki Nation. Pete Last, Walking Bear, DePoe, Cheyenne. Lolly Vegas, Yaki and Shoshone. And Pat Vegas, Yaki and Shoshone. James Marshall, a.k.a. Jimi Hendrix of the Cherokee Nation as well, too. Many different ancestries and Cherokee being one of them. Mildred Baylor, uh, Mildred Bailey of the Coeur d'Alene tribe of Idaho, known as, the, known as the Queen of Swing, the rocking chair lady, and Mrs. Swing. Buffy St. Marie, famous for her song, Bury My Heart and Wounded Knee, an activist and folk singer from the Cree First Nation. Maybe you've heard of the, the band Black Eyed Peas, and one of those characters, one of those people within that band is Jane, um, Jamie Luis uh, Gomez, Jaime Luis Gomez, also known as Taboo, and he's also Shoshone. Frank Wallen is a native rapper for the Rosebud Sioux tribe, and also is Sten Jody for the Muscogee Creek Nation tribe of Oklahoma. Fashion and design, Karen Vega, uh, Oaxaca, from what we call indigenous of modern day Mexico, Mexico. Bethany Yellowtail, Northern Cheyenne and Crow tribes, a famous designer. Illustrators, graphic novel artists, Wishoya L. Vitri, who is Scottish, and also Gabrielino Tongva. Dr. Rith Elizabeth Lepensi, who is Anishinaabe, Aragon Star of the Kikapi tribe of Oklahoma, it is of Muscogee Creek ancestry, the Fox Aerospace Engineers and Astronauts now. Aaron Yazi, Dene, works for NASA. John Har Harrington, I've had a chance to meet John Harrington, his Chickasaw Nation has been to space. Mary Ross, Cherokee Nation, you've heard that the book or the movie Hidden Figures about African American, about Black Americans who did not get their rightful recognition, these African-American women during the NASA space program in the 1960s. Well, you can add Mary Ross to that as well too, the Cherokee Nation. There's some syllabary, the Cherokee language there as well too. Photography, Matika Wilbur of the Spinomish and Tulalip Nation in 2023, finished the project 562, where she was taking a, a picture of one of the 562 people from each of these 562 federally recognized tribes. I see the number as high as 574, but at the time it was 562. And documenting all of that, you can see the book, Public Servants, we talked about as well too in class, talked about those activists and thought leaders. Ayana Okimush, she's Menominee and Oneida, and she holds a national boxing title and fights for missing and murdered Indigenous women and missing and murdered Indigenous people. So shout out Ayana. Betty Lyons of the Onondaga Nation, she's Snipe Clan, a phenomenal theater uh, leader and thought leader and activist. Chief Orrin Lyons, the Seneca Nation. Born Seneca, and he is uh, the faith keeper for the Onondaga Nation. And his son, Rex Lyons, as well, too. There's a picture of me and Chief Warren Lyons, as well, too. John Trudell has this quote here, and Trudell says, the great lie is that it is civilization. It's not civilized. It is. It has literally been the most bloodthirsty, brutalizing system ever imposed on this planet. That is not civilization. That's the great lie, is that it represents civilization. That's the great lie. Or if it does represent civilization, and that's truly what civilization is, then the great lie is that civilization is good for us. So Dr. Kimberly Robertson, she teaches here at Cal State Long Beach. You have a chance to take one of Dr. Robertson's classes in Muskogee Nation. I highly recommend it. Some California Native leaders, Professor Cindy Alvitri at the Gabrielino Tongva. She was served as the first woman chair of the Gabrielino Tongva Tribal Council. Louis Robles Jr., Chairman of the, the Committee uh, 
of the Native American burial remains and cultural repatriation at CSULB, also Gabby Leno Tongva, Heidi Lucero, chairwoman of the Wanenyo Tribal Council, is Wanenyo Achiman and Mutsin Ohlone, which is a tribe from Northern California area. Dr. Teresa Kreger. Uh, Dr. Teresa Gregor is of the Ip um, Ipai Nation of Santa Isabel in Yaki Nation. A phenomenal teacher. Hope you, you get a chance to take one of their classes. And these are some more details about some of the leaders. Let's bring it together, people. The deepest breath of love you had all day. Next week is our final exam and final week. Make sure to do those classes. See you in the community peacemaking circle. Get the deepest breath of love you had all day. Breathe in some love. Exhale some love. You are a human being who is worthy of love. If you want to bring peace to the world, first you must bring peace to yourself. In the words of DJ Felly Fell, if nobody loves you, Dr. Reeve loves you. <laughs> Take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I got love for you if no one else does. Take care. All the best.